Davis. Riga had not yet recovered from World War I when, in 1920, a ship arrived via the Daugava River. One passenger was Gaston Bachmann from Uppsala, who arrived in Latvia to deliver a lecture on anatomy and to set up an anatomical theater. The Swedish professor became the first chairman of the Department of Anatomy, and Professor Robert Skrimbergs was the first elected dean of the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Latvia. The diverse activities of Professor Paul Stradinch have become the stuff of amazement and legend. The talented young man from the village of Viesite gained a good education in Russia, England and the United States. During and after World War II, Stradinch's talent and his phenomenal work abilities allowed the field of medical education in Latvia to return to pre-war standards. In 1950, the Faculty of Medicine was split off from the Latvian State University and turned into the Riga Medical Institute. In 1990, it was renamed and became the Latvian Academy of Medicine. For the past 10 years, the university has borne Stradinch's name. Today, the Riga Stradinch University educates not just future medics and pharmacists, but also social scientists. The university upholds each and every one of Paul Stradinch's mottos. Medicine is a job, a science, and an art. Only a good person can be a good doctor. Love is the highest form of medicine. The history of medical education in Latvia is firmly based on the work of professors such as Paul Stradinch, Kristaps Rudzitis, Nikolai Skoya, Janis Volokolakovs, Janis Gaujans, Viktor Skalmbars, Gertrude Eninja, Roman Slatsis, and many others. Over the course of the years, the Riga Stradinch University has developed into a center for studies in science that is rich in tradition. The erudition and experience of professors and instructors combine with the yearning of students for knowledge and with the energy of young people. Our job is to ensure that the Riga Stradinch University is an open, widely available and modern temple to higher education and science, our main task is to strengthen the prestige of our university, to ensure quality in all that we do, and to take carefully considered decisions on our further development. Each new day soon passes into history, and history will always record new names, new achievements, and no less important individuals. I do not own what I cannot understand, said Goethe. The university is the place which allows you to live a rich and beautiful life. Through learning, we can begin our career from the best that has been invented and studied in the world. By investing our creative energy, we can enrich ourselves and our future generations with new ideas. The university is a place to meet others and to ensure that talents can flourish. Yes, today they are timid students, but tomorrow they will be doctors, professors, and holders of doctorates. Will any of them reach greater heights than Stradin Lazovskis, Rudzit, or Kalmbars did? Perhaps some will discover something new that will save people's lives and combat diseases that cannot be treated right now. Which of these students will prove to be true, selfless, and altruistic? Which ones will carry the name of the Riga Stradin University out into the world? These questions are difficult to answer now. The university is just their first step into tomorrow. The Riga Stradinc University understands this and devotes a great deal of attention to each student. Students take part in research, visit patients, and stand next to experienced doctors, docents, and professors during examinations and operations. That is an everyday situation at the university and nothing else would be possible. This is a place where new talents are sought out and nurtured. A modern university attracts modern young people. The typical student at the Stradinch University totes around a laptop computer and is well familiar with the World Wide Web. Wireless internet connections work throughout the Stradinch University campus. A modern and well-equipped library offers the latest literature and all types of professional information can be ordered.
The Riga Stradinch University has a series of stable traditions. The academic ball is one of the most important events in the university's life. It brings together the great minds of society and the faculty of the university to offer the RSU annual prize to students, residents and doctoral students who have demonstrated particular successes in their sector. The inauguration ceremony offers honorary doctorates in return for outstanding achievements in the development of science and the arts in Latvia. Graduation day, however, is the most important day of the year. It is crowned with a particularly ceremonial moment, receiving a diploma from the RSU. The dreams of parents encounter the first major achievements of children here. The university's students have traditionally been active in public life, sports, singing and dancing. The mixed choir Riga and the folk dancing ensemble Achkups have become very popular. All of these activities, however, are secondary to a higher goal, serious studies and hard work to improve oneself. The anatomical theater has become a training facility for Latvia's best doctors. Before you enter our school, therefore, think hard about whether you can undertake responsibility for the most important thing that any person has, health and life. Above the entrance to the anatomical theater, there is a text which says that this is a place where death helps life. That's true. Young people at the Riga Stadinch University not only work very hard at their basic studies, but also, in most cases, encounter death for the very first time. In parallel to their studies, young people undergo psychological training as to what they see and what they will see. Those who survive the anatomical theater and the entire process of medical studies usually become outstanding doctors, university instructors and professors. They have won the great lottery of life. Those who wish to become students at the Riga Stradinch University must be prepared to study very hard and not to be afraid of the study programs and the high demands placed upon them by the university. The Faculty of Medicine is the cornerstone for the university. Doctors and pediatricians are trained here. The six years of study, however, are just the first step before putting together a professional degree. The Faculty of Continuing Education improves and polishes theoretical knowledge and practical skills to prepare doctors for certification in their area of specialization. The Faculty of Stomatology trains qualified dentists with sufficient knowledge and practical skills to become practitioners. The development of science and the rapid change in medications that are available, this means that specialized pharmacists are needed at any phase in the distribution of medications, the manufacturing facility, the clinic, the wholesale operation, and the pharmacy. Various areas of study are available at the Faculty of Rehabilitation, Physiotherapy, Occupational Therapy, Orthotics and Prosthetics, Hearing and Speech Therapy, Nutrition, and Social Work. All of these are specialists who help to maintain human health. A modern higher education also trains nurses who have a firm foundation in science, the humanities and nursing skills. Nurses are charged with disease prevention, health promotion and patient care. The Faculty of Public Health is one of the newest faculties at the RSU. It focuses on the organization of health care, health promotion, education and environmental health. Concern for a healthy society must also be undertaken by students in the 11 study programs of the Faculty of European Studies and the Faculty of Communications. Bachelor's and Master's degrees are offered by the Departments of Political Science, Communication Studies, Regional Economics and Business, Sociology and Psychology, along with the Institute of Law. The Department of International Studies allows foreigners to study at the Riga Stradinch University. The university works with foreign universities and the Erasmus program to allow students to study abroad and to attend guest lectures by the most distinguished European professors here in Riga.
The achievements of students, grads, and instructors at the Riga Studinch University are closely linked to high technologies that are used in the educational process and the university's scientific work. Each year, the university buys modern educational resources such as special microscopes, laboratories, instruments, and medical learning models. An electron microscope with magnification of 20 to 200,000 times has been purchased for scientific research and student training. The microscope can be used to study the ultrastructure of cells, tissue, and organs, and it can be used for successful diagnosis of disorders. The morphology lab works in various directions, including cutting of very hard tissue, immunohistochemistry, and statistical analysis. The lab is constantly engaged in various kinds of international projects. The main areas of work for the biomechanics lab include the study of the mechanical properties of various kinds of biological tissue, examining the biological compatibility of artificial materials, and studying the biomechanical properties of soft and hard materials under various kinds of loads. Thanks to this equipment, instructors and students can do scholarly research to become part of their international scientific circles. Professor Guy de Krumenya, for instance, has published internationally on the subject of using magnetic resonance in the examination of patients, and her work has helped doctors throughout the world. Professor Janis Gardovskis is a father of endoscopic surgery in Latvia, and his techniques are used in all of the country's leading medical institutions. Dr. Sandra Kushke is Latvia's leading authority on pediatric hearing and related treatment and prevention issues. Children who have recovered their hearing thanks to an implant learn their first words here. Professor Ivar Svatra, for his part, heads up the Rehabilitation Institute, where research helps to create a database which can be used to analyze normal human motion. Unique in Latvia is the work done by Professor Roman Slatsis in the field of clinical science. Under his leadership, the Paul Studinch Clinical University Hospital of the RSU has conducted five heart transplantation operations. The work of RSU professors in practical medicine ensures a high level of medical care at Latvia's hospitals. Their scholarly work can be found alongside that of the world's most distinguished medical specialists. To our new generation, you will certainly be smarter, more able, and harder working than we are. And that is a force which allows us to live today. We believe that the future will be very good. Let me remind you that anything can be achieved and must be achieved with work. Work, work, and work again. There is no other method, no other road. Yeah.